Hello, um, Stevie. Yes, sir. At Zay. Nyamia do me ho ye na Welcome back from Kampala. Oh, thank you, thank you. Sir. Um, how excited are you to to be back? Yeah, I'm super excited uh, to join my my colleagues. Uh, they started uh, one week back uh, because of some uh, reasons, uh, personal reasons. So that's why I didn't join the team early as possible. But I believe when I've joined the team now, we are now, they are now motivated. I'm also motivated as well because uh, with a new coach, I believe we shall be hitting the best this okay. season. All right. So how did you spend your holidays uh, in Kampala? We were here in Ghana uh, waiting for another season to resume and then uh, begin work with a club as as always so how did you spend your holidays how was it yeah basically uh my holiday what i can say it was short yeah and it was super good uh for me because uh like as you saw uh, i visited my number one fan yeah the one i called my number one fan okay. yeah all right sure so, uh, i had to visit her then I really wanted to show my appreciation to her, so for her support, everything. So basically, my holiday went that way. Okay, Steve, you mentioned you mentioned about um, we saw videos circulating of you visiting a lady, uh, a lady that clearly you can tell from the video she's a big fan of you. Yeah. And then we saw you donating a shirt to her. Uh, how big is Kotoko in Uganda? Uh, basically, uh, since I joined Kotoko, uh, I think in Uganda, Kotoko has really gained a lot of funds uh, uh, since I joined them. Uh, and I believe there are more funds still coming. Uh, and visiting my, my number one fan, like I told you before, it was really good. It was super excited uh, visiting my my number one fan. So I believe Kotoko has a big fan base uh, in Uganda as well. Yeah, basically that's it. Steve, you had your debut season scoring 11 goals in the process. Um, before we come to your personal performance last season, how did you find the Ghana Premier League in terms of the standard, the quality, the competition in terms of meeting clubs and different? How 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 did you find it? Yeah, yeah. I I found uh, Ghana Premier League uh, super hard. So uh, they were fast. They are fast. They are aggressive. Uh, so I believe it, it was a good challenge uh, for my first season uh, scoring. 11 in the league and two in the FA Cup. So I believe this season I'll rectify my mistakes. Yeah. Steve, as you rightly pointed out, you scored 11 and then two in the FA Cup. Yeah. But there's this session of supporters and a great deal of media personalities, sports journalists who feel like based on your quality, your experience in the African game, your pace, you could have doubled your numbers in terms of the goals output for the club. They were looking at roughly 22 goals in the season, looking at the numerous chances that come that came your way, your way. Do you do you hear some of these criticisms that you should have done better in terms of the goal the goals output? For Kotoko, do you he sometimes hear these comments, and how do you find these comments? Yeah, so basically, I hear those comments. Uh, I, even me, I believe, and I had a belief that I could, I could have scored like uh, twenty goals uh, and and above. So, like I told you, it's my first season. It was my first season in Kotoko. So. Presents another opportunity for you to possibly achieve what you wanna achieve. Let's let's look at it from this perspective. As a striker, what is that figure, the number of goals you'd want to end the season with? Um, basically, I won't point out any figure, yeah, but 
what I believe I will do better than I did last season. I will improve on myself, improve on everything, so to make sure that this season becomes a better season for me in Kotoko. Ukwala, you seem to have settled so well in Ghana, though looking at the geographical locations of the two nations, you are from the eastern part of Africa yeah. and we are uh, in the western part. What has made your stay or who has made your stay comfortable and easy for you in, in Kotoko? Yeah, like uh, there's not much different because uh, still I'm, I'm in Africa. Yeah, but uh, the only challenges made by first here in Ghana, um, uh, basically uh, 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 from the food part, you because know, because you Africa, don't like pepe. Yeah, we don't take pepe, <laughs> so that that's really a challenge. Yeah, uh, and I believe I will overcome with time. Uh, and basically, the sun, mm -hmm. the climate, it's too scorchy. Yeah, it's too scorchy here in Ghana. So I believe uh, this season I'm ready for everything, and I'm ready to challenge. What do you love about Kumasi? Um, basically, like I told you before, the reception uh, from the fans, they're really welcoming. And uh, basically, that's, uh, that really motivated me and pushed me, showed that uh, the love in Kumasi really is really amazing. So I believe that made me say. Was there ever a game that after the game, a supporter met you? and give you money or any gift at all for your good performance? Yeah, basically, like I told you, they have the love for the game, so I can't say one or two times. So, so many times. It has times. been so many times, so yeah, I really respect that and I really respect the fans as well. Mm. For the records, yeah. what, what, what would you say was the biggest amount a fan gave you last Basically, I can't, I can't utter out the, the right figure, but I, has been uh, <laughs> quite is it in the regions of the 2000s the thousands mm, i believe i've gotten uh, more than that you've gotten more than 2000 ghana city from a fan after yeah, a good yeah exactly so yeah. let's see let's pack it at 5000 from a fan yeah i believe this is on uh the motivation the love the urge uh, for the goal so i believe this is when i'll get more than that the fans is like a competition when you talk of giving to players. So pro pro probably or possibly somebody would want to up that figure. So it will be better if we know the exact amount that you feel. Oh, this is this is huge. No, I I, I really appreciate any amount they give me. So I can't out out that uh, this amount. But I believe any amount I would really appreciate because if someone gets out from his pocket and he gives you so then shows the love and the appreciation so i believe this is when we shall do better steve um a new season it's it's on the horizon obviously we are preparing for the new season but you are going to start the season with a new manager he was or he is the the the, the last coach to have won us the league before we lost the trophy last season. He believes in beautiful football, possessive game, scoring, and having fun with the ball. Is winning the league your number one priority ahead of the season? Uh, exactly. Basically, uh, that's my first priority this season and my main target, winning the league. Uh, still uh, fighting for the top scorer. Um, but basically, uh, what I know about the coach, uh, his character, so I believe we shall go far with his character and the love for the game. You came in and directed with your new mates and old mates. How do you find the atmosphere? Do you think that they are in good mood, they are in good shape? Yeah, so uh, with the reception I got today, because it was my first day now in, in camp, so uh, with the reception they showed me, I believe uh, this season will be amazing, super amazing for all the Porcupine fans and the family. Welcome once again. Thank you. And um, good luck for the upcoming season. We wish you all the very best and we're just hoping that you can help us lift the trophy once again. So we celebrate with, with the Thank people so of Commandment.
Ya, oke. Okay. 12.